Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Southern Chaos YouTube channel. Today, we get to go over a new project to the channel, and it's one of two surprises I have coming to the channel before uh, 2022. Uh, the other one I'll probably reveal maybe right after Christmas. Maybe Christmas Day if, if you're lucky. But this one in particular, I have to get to telling you guys what it's about. I've made a couple posts if you guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram um, about the new car we got. So, and this is this is a, a reason for it. One, um, as some of you might know, some of you OG guys, you might know from other videos that I've said it, I've got, I got into racing years ago from my dad and my grandpa and, um, the nickname of the car Spanky is from my grandpa. The racing background was from my grandpa, my dad, and everybody who I used to, uh, race with when I was a kid. Um, so that kind of just evolved into what I have going on now. Um, so with that being said, when I first started building Spanky, I, uh, I ran slow classes, open comp, and was starting to get into the heads up stuff. And we were way in left field, super slow, just didn't have what it took um, until we took a big step and went in turbo. And now, as you can tell, we're pretty damn competitive. Um, not saying we're the best, not saying we're the worst, but we got a good team. And that's that's uh, that's what it takes to have fun um, and to go some rounds at every event and be somewhat of a contender. So um, we're coming off two win streaks. Um, and there is no race for me at the end of the year besides the Cletus, uh, world championship Christmas tree race that we raced last year. Garrett went ahead and invited us again this year. So that's pretty badass. Um, it is a very fun event by far in my top three best events I've been to since I've been drag racing. It's super fun. It's laid back. It's family oriented. This year, it is a public event, um, but we have a big problem. Um, we can't run Spanky. Uh, that does suck, um, but I have rules and guidelines I got to go by. Um, as most of you know, it is a no-time car, and uh, I still appreciate you guys being on the channel and supporting us, even though I can't tell my full-blown times i mean i can hint stuff here and there i mean it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that the car is fast um you know i it's it's built for no time racing and what that means is uh, well simple enough can't show times but um how 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 one of the main rules is is if you light the boards meaning show times you cannot race no time for another 365 days after that happened so, um, kind of in a rock and a hard place there. Don't want to piss anybody off. Troy and all them guys are damn good buddies of mine. Um, they've helped us out and I love what they got going on. They have great shootouts throughout the whole year, tens of thousands of dollars, um, making it happen for us to be able to go spend hundred to 200 bucks to enter a race and win a couple thousand dollars. It's pretty badass. And as you can tell, we're competitive now. So, um, I want to roll into 2022 with a good no time background. Um, I want to be competitive. I want to, uh, as you can tell, uh, the beginning of this year, we um, we ran a couple events. We ran up in Georgia. We got second place in a no time shootout. Um, lost against uh, Big Hank and Jeepers Creepers, which that truck is just crazy fast, and we didn't have nothing for them hands down. Um, and then during the summer, we rebuilt Spanky. So there was months where I couldn't race, months where I couldn't do things because I was saving money to make shit happen. Um, we got the car back together. We struggled a little bit with some transmission converter problems, but here we are. Back-to-back -back wins. We got a win up in uh, Mod Nationals. Got us a couple grand back in the pocket. And then we go on. Uh, we won a, a Detroit Sunday Funday, a Sunday Run Day deal. And so we're doing good. You know, we got the car figured out. We can go A to B in the sun. We can go fast at night. The only way it's really going to get beat is either just by plain and simple, a faster car, or plain and simple, I beat myself. Red lighting or just shit happens, you know. Um, that's drag racing, but that's 
what we live it for. True drag racers know the feeling. So not to be long-winded, but can't race Spanky and uh, Christmas Tree Shootout because I can't show times and it's a showtime event. So let's get to it. Um, we bought another car, got my dad back into racing, um, found a smoking deal 2019 5,000 original miles twin turbo precision kit. It is a bad motherfucker. It is bad. Um, makes over a thousand wheel horsepower. Uh, we will dyno tune it again to reconfirm, but I have drove it on the street and it's, it's damn fast. It's, it's a little sketchy. Um, but we are heading down to blacklist. We're going to put this big Bertha on the scale, see how much it weighs and go over the car, make sure it's safe. We are getting a Christmas tree mounted on this thing. And we're going to Christmas tree race with the Coyote. So we're going modular for Christmas tree events. So we're going to go twin turbo Coyote. I will have Spanky down there parked by my trailer on display. I will have merchandise. If it is, if you guys are down there for this um, open invite race for the Christmas tree race, I 100% guarantee you you'll have fun make plans it's in the middle of the week it's not on christmas day take the family take your friends it's a it's a freaking awesome event so just go there have fun if you see us we got merch come say hi shake my hand check out spanky and we're gonna have some fun so uh let's see let's show you what this thing's all about What is the what is the weight capacity? We're about to tap these bad boys out. Put the skinnies on there. About to put the, the scales on there. See how much it weighs. Any guesses? Any guesses? It's a pretty solid guess, Anthony. On, so. They didn't feel much lighter <laughs> than those, I'm not going to lie. Uh, 46.50? <laughs> Anthony's 36.50, you're 3,800? I'm going to say 39.25. Yeah. 38.58. 38.58. See. Sur got? Survey says. Ooh, who on the money? Come on. What is that? 38. Shoot. It's a tank. Alright, so the rule of the race had to be an eight foot tree, no inflatables. As you can tell, it is not a real tree, but it is not an inflatable. Had some serious Amazon uh, package damage. A little bit of a side peephole over here. Gab, give us your outlook on the new tree we got. It looks like a partially shaved penis. Whoa, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> check, check, check this thing out. Oh wait, wait, wait! We still gotta, we still gotta get the top. I have a lot of unfolding to do to get this right. But I'm, I'm six three, and it's a solid two foot or bigger than me. It's way up there. That's a real nine foot Christmas tree we got in the house. But went with white this year because the car is blue, and I think it'll look cool. And the real one that we had last year was ten foot. And, uh, shoot, I think it weighed like 70 pounds. This weighs 12. As you can tell, it's super cheesy. But I'll show you uh, when we get to Blacklist how we're going to be mounting this thing on a 45. And I think with the aerodynamic of it, it's going to blow these things backwards and kind of make it like a torpedo. So should be pretty good. I'm going to finish unplucking this thing and show you guys the final piece.
There we go. Looks a little bit better all fluffed out. Ooh, a little sideways on the top. So we gotta get some lights. I'm gonna use the battery operated ones like last year and run a couple strands through there. There has to be 32 bulbs. So we're gonna wrap a couple sets in there. Zip tie them to these. That's what I did last year. I zip tied them so there was no way the lights could come off and you get disqualified. But looks good. Going down to Blacklist in the morning to uh, mount it on the car. See how it looks. See. Well, we got the Christmas tree bottom half down here. Matt's already got the uh, Motion Raceworks parachute mount in place. He noticed there was a, a blown fuse down here. So we're going to get that fixed up for the car. But she looks bad, man. I'm excited to race this thing. Super excited to race it. I don't think I've shown you guys under the hood, so I'll show you guys under the hood. Oh, man. She's a bad little unit. I'd be impressed. It's heavy as hell. It makes decent power, but I'd be impressed if it, uh, if it runs somewhere in the nines would be pretty freaking cool. Got some twin precisions on there. Not a bad looking ride, man. It's gonna be a fun car for sure. Christmas tree race. We're about to build something off the back here and get this thing angled on the 45. It's gonna be pretty hilarious. All right, guys, a lot of, lot of bouncing around this week between taking Spanky to the dyno and trying to get all the rest of the film for this video. But it is the day before the Christmas tree race and haven't had time to show any more of the car, but we got the car back from Blacklist. They went ahead and went over the suspension, brought the ride height up a little bit. It is still very low, but um, a lot better. The tires were very close to the fenders, and when you turn real sharp, they tried to rub, so that's no good, but she stanced out looking, looking fresh. I like it, but went ahead and did all that. On top of that, Went over the whole entire car, nut and bolt checked the whole car. Went ahead and put a parachute mount in here. Motion Raceworks deal. Loaded up, looking good. Oh yeah. But this is the mount. The Christmas tree slides in there and you clamp it around here with two hose clamps and on the bottom. And then we're gonna screw the rest of the tree together with some self tappers so it won't blow off. I got lights and all that stuff, but it's gonna look pretty sick shooting out on like a 45 kind of deal. Super excited. Let's do a little cold start for you guys. This thing is, I'm excited to ride this thing. It's gonna be a fun little car. Probably very loud. pretty much a wrap on the new twin turbo coyote that's going to be on the channel here and there super excited we'll see you guys on wednesday short little video on the car but it's time to get ready for christmas tree race i'll see you guys tomorrow I'm gonna to spool her up and let her rip catch y'all there